Hello, welcome to 50 Days of Keynote. We present you 50 things you can create in the classroom for the classroom. Today, it's Alicia Banco first turn to show you how to use Keynote to create pixel art day 20. So why teach pixel art? Well, it's actually one of the an important part of computational thinking for students to understand how images are created by a computer. A pixel is the smallest unit of an image and we put together lots of pixels to create an image on a computer. So Keynote is really ideal for this because it has tables, has colors, and students can export their creations afterwards as an image, movie, PDF, GIF, or they can even use audio, they can create animations, they can do lots of stuff. So my idea would be to create an, a table to prepare them. Um, the lesson idea would be to design your own pixel art and animate it. So how would you do that? So here I've created a grid so you can see what it looks like. I would use conditional highlighting and this way the students don't have to think about copying and pasting the colors. They just have to type in the numbers. Hi, I'm now going to show you how to create a table that you can use for pixel art in Keynote. As you can see, I have a already created one here just to show you what it looks like as a finished product. And if I type in any number, then it's going to just automatically change color because I already pre-programmed it already. And to, to erase, just erase the number to remove the color. So how do you add a table? You add a table by going to plus, adding the table you want. You can add rows and columns. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to add 24 rows, 24 columns. Of course, you can format it however you want, but let's take a look at the conditional formatting. So you have to make sure the whole table is selected. Then you go to the paintbrush. And what you need to do is you're going to say, OK, you add conditional highlights. Number is equal to, let's say, the number 1. We want to make the number 1 it to be black. We want it to be, when you type in the number 1, it's going to be the text color is going to be black and the cell fill is also going to be black. Yeah. Now we can, we can press done. We can also just simply just add rule. Then we're going to go to 2, etc. And we're going to test it later. So 2, let's say we want 2 to be yellow, which is not a problem. We can say 2, we want to we're going to change the text color to yellow. And we're also going to change the cell fill color to yellow, the same yellow. So it'll be, it'll disappear, so to speak. So let's test that. Let's type a 1 inside of a cell and see if we did it correctly. Yes, we did. And let's type a 2 in the cell to see if we did it correctly. And we did. Great. So then what you do is you can start by explaining how this works, that a computer, computer understands zeros and ones, and asking them to create some basic shapes just using a grid, just using black and white, zero and one. But then you can show them some examples so they can really um, be creative and create their own designs and even create their own favorite cartoon characters. So this is what I did. I now just animated pixel art that I created this, this morning. So you can see the full creation as, it, as it's completed. And that's it. Who would have thought pixel art made in Keynote? 50 days of Keynote. That was another idea. All videos are online on Padlet and all the Keynote files are also online. See you tomorrow.